In the hush of the New Mexico desert, a group of the world's brightest minds toiled under a veil of secrecy. They called their home Los Alamos and their project Manhattan. They were driven by a chilling fear that Nazi Germany might harness the power of the atom first. Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer, the project's intense and brilliant scientific director, was a man consumed by the weight of their endeavor. He oversaw an army of physicists, engineers, and chemists, all racing against time to unlock the universe's most fearsome secret, nuclear fission. The theory was sound, but turning it into a weapon was an unprecedented challenge. They worked in labs that hummed with quiet urgency. Enrico Fermi and his team wrestled with chain reactions, while others designed the intricate implosion device required for the plutonium core. Oppenheimer, a chain smoker with a gaunt face, paced the corridors, reciting poetry and debating quantum mechanics, every decision bringing them closer to a new age. Finally, the day arrived, July 16, 1945. At the remote Trinity site, the device, codenamed the Gadget, was placed atop a steel tower. A sense of a foreboding quiet settled over the dawn. At 5.30 a.m., the countdown ended. The desert exploded not with noise at first, but with an unearthly, blinding light brighter than a thousand suns. A fireball roared upwards, followed by a shockwave that knocked observers to the ground. A massive churning mushroom cloud rose into the atmosphere, a terrifying monument to human ingenuity and the dawn of a new dangerous era. Oppenheimer watching from a distance was both exhilarated and horrified. He recalled a line from the Bhagavad Gita, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. The bomb was a reality a genie out of the bottle and the world would never be the same again.